Hey there guys, this is gonna be part two of the shipping container shop project. And in this part, I'm gonna show you how I built the in framing and the new doors on this container, as well as how I poured some concrete foundation blocks for which this container will eventually rest upon. I was totally hoping that I would accomplish a bit more uh, in this part, like having a man door and some windows cut out. But you know what, uh, sometimes projects take a bit longer. Uh, so first I'm gonna show you where I get my steel cause it's a pretty cool store and a lot of people ask me and then I will show you how I built the doors and poured the foundation blocks. So being that this project is going to be using quite a bit of steel, I figured it'd be a good opportunity to show you one of my favorite places to go when I'm in Tucson. And that is my local branch of industrial metal supply. If you've ever been to a big box store and tried to search for steel or anything like that, uh, you'll find it is incredibly expensive, but coming to a place like this you can literally get three or four times the amount of steel at greater varieties and quantities than you could at a normal big box store. Pretty much anything you could ever imagine in a metal format can be found here. Any shapes, sizes, different materials, all sorts of things. Uh, including zombie targets uh, but honestly one of my favorite places in this store is the remnant area or basically the scrap area um, and it's a little room and most of the things are weighed by the pound and sometimes you can happen upon some really 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 good deals uh, probably the last four or five projects that I've done with metal have included stuff from this very room So right now I've got a frame laid out that I'm gonna weld together that's gonna to go on the end of the container that will basically make it whole again and give it some strength since I cut the original frame off <laughs> that had the doors. Uh, so anyway, this is pretty heavy gauge steel as you saw me pick up at Industrial Metal. And uh, I wanted to point out one of the cool things about this welder and one of the main reasons why I was looking for something like this is because it's multi-process. So you've seen me mostly weld with MIG wire, uh, but now I'm gonna switch it over to stick welding, which is is quite a bit better for thick stuff. So let me switch it over and we'll see if we can get this tack together. After I had the main frame complete, I then laid out my door material within the frame just as a dry fit to make sure everything was going to be uh, nice and flush with a good reveal all the way around. Uh, once I was confident with that, I went ahead and tacked everything together and then ran some nice full beads along all of the joints. Once I was finished, I then laid out a framework inside the door frames uh, for which I was going to mount some 16 gauge sheet steel that you see me carrying right there. Wow, these uh, sheets are pain in the butt to move. Uh, this one fit perfectly in the door and this one I still gotta do some cutting. And while Garth Brooks is thankful for unanswered prayers, I'm actually thankful for good neighbors with tractors. This is my neighbor Al and he's actually the guy who sold me this container so it was kind of cool to have him come over and help me convert it.
For the foundation of the shop, I'm choosing to make my own concrete piers or concrete blocks instead of buy them. And the big reason for that was the fact that my dad had called me and seen a bunch of torn bags at Home Depot uh, that they were giving away for free. So I went and collected a bunch of bags and got a little bit messy. <laughs> but essentially these blocks are free. Uh, so anyway, I get a soupy mix. I pour them in my little uh, forms and then I add a couple layers of remesh and then random scrap pieces of rebar um, throughout the thickness of it. All right guys, that's pretty much it. I know it wasn't a huge amount of progress towards what the shop will hopefully eventually look like, but I am very happy to have gotten these doors on and the fact that they function and swing freely and easily uh, makes me very happy. I still need to do some weather stripping and make a little latch and lock system, uh, but you know what, that may be two or three parts down the road. As for uh, the next part, I am going to be adding the windows and the man door. Uh, you'll see I have the windows laying uh, down there. I got those from Lowe's for 38 bucks just a little two foot by two foot shed or utility window so i was totally stoked to find that deal um, and then also i will be doing the prep for the paint and the brackets for the trusses and i'll probably try to move it in its final location on those concrete uh, blocks that you saw me pour so as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I would ask if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Maybe check out some other videos, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And uh, we will see you next time.